Hello and welcome back. Today we are unboxing and going to get in a quick flight review, more than likely, of the Holy Stone HS110G beginner drone. I say beginner drone because it's one of those drones where it really doesn't have a balanced gimbal, a two axis, three axis, no axis gimbal actually, but it actually aims the photographs by aiming the direction of the actual craft but uh let's see what we got inside shall we as usual holy stone has some awesome packaging this one's actually a pretty colorful box and inside it looks like we have a very a nice carrying case. I like that a lot. One second and get rid of this box. And we'll see what's inside. Alright, well. I don't know if you guys can see that, let me show it to you. It's a, a stylish case, arm strap, shoulder straps, excuse me, high quality zippers. Inside we got a nice large pocket. On the inside of the lid. Let me turn that around for you. And as usual, we have our instruction manual. Cautions of the battery because these drones do have lithium potassium batteries that can cause fires if not used correctly. Um, standard charging cable. It looks like this one uses a USB-C. I'm sorry, excuse me, USB micro instead of the normal C. Um, I can't stress enough, you always need to use the cord that came with it to charge the drone because the batteries are powerful batteries and they require a certain type of cord. But uh, so look, here we've got some extra propellers. Two of each set and a mini screwdriver. All right, let me, actually, let me set these over here out of the way, and we'll get a better look at what is inside. Securing strap. As usual, Holy Sun always makes sure that they have protective layers on every one of their drones and inside their cases to protect the drone itself from what may be inside the upper lid <coughs> here we have the drone itself uh, before we get to that we'll go through what's in the package here we have not one but two batteries these are, as I thought, lithium ion polymer batteries, 3.7 volt, 1500 milliamp per hour batteries. Also comes with an extra set of landing legs, just in case you lose yours in what might possibly be a crash. Let's hope that doesn't happen. All right, and uh, let's go for the main show, pull the drone out. And here we have it, the Holy Stone 110G. And uh, as you can tell by the symbol on the top, it's a GPS drone. It is GPS driven. Um, there's no adjustable camera on this one. Uh, the way this, can, this drone works, in order to aim the image, you need to aim the craft so there will be a lot of tilt on this craft when you're flying it um it comes with no separate charger for these batteries uh it actually you actually put the drone in the battery in the drone charge it that way directly through the drone um and as you notice right here there is an sd card slot uh it takes up to a certain size which i will have to check into but yes it will record to that and to your actual device. Um, you got your antennas 
your antenna, excuse me, to carry the signal from the remote to the drone. <coughs> um, all in all, it's not a bad looking craft. Let me set this one down here. And then we've got the remote. Um, actually, this is an upgrade compared to the earlier version of this drone as far as the controller is concerned. The first controller, I thought, kind of had a toy-like feel to it in a way, but this one is more substantial. Um, again, they always make sure they're protecting their parts and their electronics during travel. Um, this this actual remote you don't have to have batteries for it is rechargeable and as you can see there there's your port <coughs> um normal power switch return to home this should be your expandable phone clip it expands out a decent little ways there but that's how you actually hold your device um your compass calibration button <coughs> photo button video button you've got an angle button and you've got your speed settings and we'll go into those later during the actual flight um, your auto takeoff and land button like I said it's, it's a decent remote or a decent looking decent feeling remote I can't wait to see how it actually operates and we'll do that during the flight review Oh. Of course, I will be changing this audio because of my grunts at drones. <laughs> they always include silica, and it just, it, honestly, it makes me feel so much better because with these electronics, if you don't have something in there to protect it from the actual moisture during transit or storage, then it can ruin the drone. But that's pretty much what comes in the package. Uh, actually we're gonna get it set up get it charged up and we'll be back for the flight review thanks guys so far it's pretty stable for a Wi-Fi drone uh, not that I'm knocking it the image is not horrible. I'll have to get a record going on here. I'm sorry for the beep, but evidently it beeps while it's recording. Really nothing you can do about that, I'm guessing. I don't have a whole bunch of room here, but I wanted to have a scenic view for you guys at least during my initial flight. I'm gonna take it to a more open area and do a little more with it, test some functions and whatnot.